During the image most Americans have of you, you standing there in your jacket, grieving with your people, working with them, and working with the president, and you've got both praise and damnation for ignoring the political differences that you had then and still have with the president and all of us who are in the other party, to do something that was really important. And uh, I wanted them to hear what you're doing now, because I think this should be as unifying as that. We have got to stop waiting for something horrible to happen and then spending ten times as much as we'd have to spend it keeping it from happening. Well, that's true. And, and you know, the, the people in Nebraska should care about it because they're paying for it. Right? I mean, so, you know, even, even if you have no interest in this subject, you're paying to rebuild the Jersey Shore right now. In Nebraska and Iowa and Kansas, um, South Dakota, North Dakota, you're paying. Arkansas, oh, Arkansas, Arkansas too, of course, Mr. President. Um, <laughs> you can pay for us to go across for enough years to send some money back. <laughs> so, you know, it's, 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 it's an issue that because of the number of people that live there um, and the expense associated with rebuilding that area. You know, one of the things I was trying to explain uh, to President Obama was when he took the first tour there, the two days after the storm, and I said, you know, Mr. President, in a state like New Jersey, to rebuild 365,000 homes in some of the most, if not the most expensive real estate in America, in New Jersey and New York. Um, this is this is a, an incredibly costly endeavor, and one that we have to try to avoid having to do another time after this. And that's part of the argument I made to him about the investment, billions of dollars, that's gonna cost the federal government and the state government to build that dune system. But to do it, is going to avoid, I mean, the, the cost, the, the loss to New Jersey in the storm uh, of property was $39 billion. And so, you know, to invest three to four billion to try to prevent another $39 billion in losses or mitigate it seems to me to be, whether you're Republican or Democrat, uh, a pretty smart investment to make uh, for the, for, for the country.